النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said الحديث صحيح إن البخاري ومسلم كل سلامة من الناس عليه صدقة كل يوم تطلع كل يوم تطلع فيه الشمس النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم he said for every single person for every day you must give a sadaqa for every joint in your body when the sun rises Allahu Akbar meaning this hadith is telling us that we are supposed to give a sadaqa for every joint in our body every single day we live and we experience the sun rising Allahu Akbar and the human being has 360 joints and if we were to count the joints every joint in our body in our fingers in our arm in our shoulder in our back our legs and our toes 360 joints our back our spine 360 joints and each and every single one of them you must give a sadaqa for so you and i have to give a sadaqa of 360 360 sadaqat a day Every day the sun rises, meaning the time in which you have to give the sadaqah is after the sun rises. Allahu Akbar. This is huge. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes on in this hadith to say, تَعْدِلُ بَيْنَ اثْنَيْنَ صَدَقَةً If you are to reconcile and fix and mend things between two people that are quarreling or arguing with each other, or have isolated and abandoned each other, if you reconcile between them, that's a sadaqah. تعين الرجل على دابته فتحمله عليها وترفع له ما عليها متاعه صدقة. That if you were to help a person to ride his camel or to get on top of his ride, or you carry his possession, his luggage, and you take it up, you know, because in the past, for an example, a man he couldn't get on his camel or he has luggage, he doesn't know how to get up with his luggage. So if you help him go up, and then you put his luggage with him. For example, today if you find someone an elderly in the shopping centers and he finds it difficult to get into his car you help him in the car and you put his uh, shopping bags in the boot of the car that is a sadaqah so if you do that once then that's a sadaqah you still have 359 sadaqat to give and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said wal kalimatu tayyibatu sadaqah and a good word you say is a sadaqah وَكُلُّ خُطْوَةٍ تَمْشِيهَا إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ صَدَقَةً And every footstep you take towards the masjid is a sadaqah. وَتُمِيطُ الْأَذَى عَنِ الطَّرِيقِ صَدَقَةً And if you are to remove the harm from the road, that's also a sadaqah. وَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ is a sadaqah. Saying سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ is a sadaqah. So the quickest way to give 360 sadaqat a day is to sit down and say سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ 360 times. Now the point is this. At the end of this hadith uh, in uh, Sunan Abi Dawood, and the narration is authentic, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَيُجْزِئُ أَحَدُكُمْ مِّنْ ذَلِكَ رَكْعَتَا الضُّحَى And a person could give this 360 sadaqah in two rak'at he prays at duha time. Allahu Akbar. Now the question is this, why are we supposed to give 360 sadaqat a day for every joint in our body? Al-ulama rahimahumullah said, because Allah Azza wa Jal allowed them to function, so you have to show gratitude to Allah. You have to thank Allah for the health and the body He's given you. And you have to thank Allah that He gave you ability or able to move these joints and these limbs of yours. So you must give a sadaqah to thank Allah for this. And the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, praying two rak'at, as salat remember, praying two rak'at at duha time, which is 15 minutes after the sun rises, and you have all that time until 10 minutes before adhan of dhuhr. That is duha time. If you pray two rak'at during this time, what's it going to take from you? Five minutes? then you have given the 360 sadaqat that you must be giving every single day. In other words, as-salat is a form of gratitude to Allah. Allah Azza wa Jalla, He said, Anishkur li, be grateful to me. How do we do that? Pray. Ya khwani, pray, pray. And that is your gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jalla. 
feel the sweetness and the pleasure when you pray and understand this is you saying thank you Allah for the countless blessings he has given you. Allahu Akbar. Well, ulama rahimahumullah, they discuss why are the two rak'at that you pray at duha time why are they equal to the 360 sadaqat you give? Al-ulama rahimahumullah, they said, because all the joints of the body are being used when one prays. All of them are being moved as you pray. As opposed to, if you were to say, subhanallah, that would be counted as one sadaqa. Why? Because not all your limbs moved, not all your joints moved. But when you pray, notice, from when you say Allahu Akbar, your hands have moved, the joints in the hands move. Then when you go into ruku' and in sujood and you come back up, and then even when you're in sujood and how your toes have to be uh, pegged into the ground, so you, there's a movement in the joints of, of your toes. All of this is because your, all your joints are moving, therefore two rak'at at buha time would satisfy, and that would be equal to giving 360 sadaqat that are supposed to be given on that day. And also, because the duha time is a time of heedlessness. As I said to you, duha time is 15 minutes after uh, sunrise. And it ends 10 minutes before duha time. And you see this time, this time during the day, this is the most time in which people are heedless. Most people are at work at that time, they're busy, you know, they're busy working, providing for their family. And if people are wealthy and well off and they're not working, then it's usually entertainment time or sleep time. So this is a time in which people are heedless. Barely anyone is remembering Allah at that time or praying at that time. And the rule, there's a rule, there's a, there's a general rule in Islam. And that is that the good deeds that a person does during times of heedlessness, are given great reward. So when a person forgets this worldly life and stands for five minutes before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time of duha, the most heedless time for the people, then Allah azza wa jal gives him great reward that these two rak'at satisfy. They satisfy and they are equal to the 360 sadaqat we're supposed to give every day. Allahu Akbar.